the day I'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys I don't know what I'm doing I'm just sitting here because I haven't filmed sorry I haven't filmed a video in a hot minute I got some random new products um I don't know what I'm going to use um I picked up these new little wet and wild palettes they look like this look how cute this one is called Perolete, Perolete, and this is hooked on vinyl. Cute, I like this one. I just, I don't know, I gravitated towards these two. I thought they were cute. I got the new Wet n Wild um, Blossom Glow Highlighter. It looks like that. Um, really pretty, it looks pretty. And then I got this little Wet n Wild Glitter. I guess I'm gonna use it, I don't know. Um, my hair is stiff as hell. I go get it done tomorrow. It has grown so fast. Like, I don't... Look at this. What? Let's just... Let's hide that back there. Let's hide that. Pretend you didn't see Priming it. my face, and I am using the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. You guys have seen me use this a million times. You can get this in the store, I guess, like, six bucks or something like that. It's just a good primer. I use it every day. I try to apply it to the areas that I have pores, and my brow's already done, so that's why I look crazy. No makeup and just brows but yeah i like to apply this um like where i have pores my chin my nose just put some here on my forehead i'm gonna go in with my um mac prep and prime this is i always say mac prep and prime this is mac fix plus mac fix plus and this is the rose scented one i have the lavender and then i have the coconut which is at the bottom because i love it like i need to go pick up some more of that so before i apply my foundation i like to spray my face just because it helps the foundation go on easier it just glides on it looks really nice so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna spray my face So good. I'm gonna take this beauty blender and like pat it into the skin like so the foundation that I'm gonna be using is the wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade soft ivory times I use the wand that it comes with and I'll apply it directly to my face other times I like to apply it to the back of my hand and pick it up with a beauty blender so with this beauty blender that is kind of damp and this foundation is just really really amazing not only is it affordable but the coverage that you get is just bomb i just repurchased another wet and wild um concealer so i'm going to apply this underneath my eyeballs to highlight that area because the lord knows like horrible oh my god you ever sit under your vanity light and you're just like yo what the freaking hell damp beauty blender again blending off that concealer ah. look at this ear let's put some concealer on that why is it so red maybelline master contour stick it is a v-shape duo stick contour and highlight and this is in the shade medium i'm not going to be using that highlighting shade um you see half is brown the other half is like white i've used it a lot so yeah i'm just going to take this brown shade and i'm going to contour my face all the places where i just want i'm just gonna put that do right there the hollows of my cheeks and just blend out my contour and this blush blends, blends really really nicely um contour stick itself also blends out really really nice so we're gonna put this on all the areas that we want to contour and create your like a shadow i'm going to do that to my double i should say triple 
ash chin the foundation doesn't look as white as it did like when I first put it on um, if you have foundation it's a little too white you can always add like bronzer and you know bronze up the face blend out that nose contour I'm gonna go in underneath my eyes and I'm going to set that under eye area with a pressed powder. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 110 Porcelain. And I am using this flat, like, face brush by It Cosmetics. And I'm just going to apply this under my eyeballs, around my nose area, all the places where you sweat like hell, which for me is like my entire face like I'm just such a sweaty human being so I go in with a um, dry beauty blender and I grab that same press powder and I apply this underneath my eyes like so and I am in a way baking and just setting that under eye area. I'm gonna apply this to the nose, chin. This is Ren ColourPop Highlighter Duo, and this is in the shade Topaz. But I love this bronzer right here. It's really good for like pale girls like myself. This is what the bronzy shade looks like, and the highlighter is also really pretty as well very pigmented i really really like these i'm gonna go in with a morphe blush brush and i am going to bronze my face so i'm gonna do my forehead do my neck like that neck i always make try to make sure i get that neck. same bronzer shade i'm going to um just apply this to the nose contour chisel that out a little bit so it looks like i have like a skinny nose but... i always use this little um clinique this is the ginger pop blush i'll put a little so it looks like i'm like a little bit um yeah Whatever. look at the shades they are very very pretty I'm gonna go in with this let me grab a fluffy first of all my brush is as dirty as all hell grab this shade right here which I don't know if you can tell but it's like a beigey shade does it look beige there we go I think it looks beige there I'm gonna grab this transition shade from over here. I'm applying that straight in my crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with this orangey shade from right here. It kind of reminds me of um, Peach Smoothie. I believe Peach Smoothie is a makeup geek shadow, but it looks very similar to Peach Smoothie. I'm gonna apply this in my crease right on top of the other shade. Just building up, um, just building up the color, building up the eye. Next, I'm gonna grab this deeper purple shade right here. Applying, applying this to the outer V and taking it about mid eyelid. And we are just going to blend this color out very well. Let me use a brush instead for y'all. You don't even have to press really hard with these shadows. They are just really pigmented all on their own. Look at that. And I didn't... I didn't think I was going to do this bronzy color all over the lid, but I guess I did. Now I'm going to grab this lighter purple. Can you guys see? Okay, I'm going to grab this shade right here and I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of the eye. I'm going 
gonna apply the warm colors that are in my crease. Cleaning up the edge of my eye with a flat brush with some concealer on it so I get that nice clean straight edge. I'll go ahead I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara and I'm applying this before I apply my lashes. The lashes that I'm going to be using are these Lore X Crazy Ray Ray lashes. Um, I've tried Ilor lashes before. I've never tried these, so I'm so excited to try them out. They look really, really fluffy. All right, so I'm going to... You see it's on there, and I'm just going to fix it. I'm going to use this new liquid lipstick. It is by Collab Beauty. It is found at Sally's and this is in the shade Boy Toy. Mm. So I'm gonna add um this is called Midi by ColourPop and just because I feel like it's very pink. How cute is this lip combo together? Like, so freaking. Go ahead, I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush. I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus. The glow is so pretty. Apply it to the nose. And again, this is the shade Blossom Glow. Look how nice. I like it a lot. Glowing. So I'm going to spray my face with some NYX Matte Finishing Spray. So this is the finished result. Thank you guys for tuning in and sticking around and watching my tutorial. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to please subscribe to my channel. Bye!